it's me gaming the fucking 767 and today is going to be tutorial 2 of SFM so today is going to be switching maps or map switching in one continuous render so let's start so first I need to make my um you know I need to make my source filmmaker work which is going to take a second if you Say so we can just wait a second. There we go. So, what is up, guys? It's me again, Fucking767, and today is going to be a tutorial talking about how to switch between maps. So, you might have seen me um, come like to a map and you can load any map, or say you wanna you wanna load the black void first. You can come and you load whatever map you want, and then I'm gonna add a model. Um, let me just. I don't want to waste time, so I'm just gonna choose the first model that shows up. Um, let's see over here. Whether I'll do. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I'll do this guy. Oh, yay, finally. So it's working. So now let me go into. Say I'm going to use. um, Let's see. Um, say I'm going to use. So. TX production. TF Productions, TF, and let's say I choose, um, uh, let's see, say I choose, this something like this, say I have a Funtime Freddy model, and I, w I want to have this Funtime, I'm going to animate, oh, um, I have some, issues with okay that's okay so say i want to keep funtime freddy here and i make all my whole animation and like i've animated everything here and then now i want to move on to the second shot so say here is where i want to make a shot i'm going to make two examples so okay so i'm going to just do this because i don't want i'll show because the render is what i'm going to do and then I'm just gonna bring this here, and I'm just gonna bring that over here, then bring this over here, and then bring this over here. So now you can see this is um a few seconds long. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna delete that. Then I'm gonna delete that too. Oh, wait, this one. That and then okay, so I have a good um setup of what's happening so far, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just move this over here. So now I have a good um good thing of what I'm gonna do. So let's do this shot over here, and then one more over here. So I'm gonna start shot one. Now, if you want to come, okay, so before we do that, what we want to do is go to Element Viewer, and then, like, just press the Home button, and then it's going to be something called Active Clip. You want to press that, and then it's going to be, like, what whatever map you loaded. Just make sure that's deleted. That's good. Now, if we come here, let's show this in Element Viewer. Now, we want to add, so... Shot one, there's going to be something in map name, and you add the map you're in. So, you, I was in the black void, so I add the black void. Now, here's where the juicy stuff comes in. Now, we come to the second shot. or So, we can go show an element viewer, and this is going to have no map name. Choose the map you want. I'm going to do FNAF 3. And now. Oops. So this is finna oh so yeah sometimes it doesn't load properly but you have to just try twice and then 
Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna just reset this by doing that, and then if I come here and I do Fazbear's Fright Map. Wait, if I come here, I'm gonna be. Okay, so wait a second. I uh, yeah, if I'm gonna I'm gonna come here and then yeah, yeah. Now it's gonna say wrong map loaded. See, Dave. Now it's gonna say wrong map loaded for both of the. Oh, uh, this shot it won't. This shot it will. But we don't, we're not talking about this shot. Okay, so this shot. It says wrong map loaded because SFM doesn't know what to do with the shot so far. So after we've got it like that, so now, I, so doing this technique, what I'd recommend is maybe do like five to six map changes in a scene or in a, um, or in like a whole, and if in your project, six or seven map changes, or five, six, six, seven, for good computers, six or seven, or like seven and eight is good. For bad computers like mine, the best is five or six, five to six maps. So you, that's what I recommend for ex, when you export like six, seven only, six, seven or lower, because if you do that, I mean, if you do like more than seven or eight, it's just gonna, it, SFM will handle it, but it's gonna take days, like very long to do this, like, or to finish the render. So I'm going to, so in Element Viewer, it, this is the map. So I'm going to copy, I'm gonna copy that the map name, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave out, uh, I'm gonna leave out the B dot .bsp at the end. So now, I'm gonna go to console. If you don't have it here, you can just come to Windows console, but I have it right here. And then you wanna do change level, oh, level, change level, and then do the map name. The map, yeah, without the BS dot .bsp, and then if you submit, this whole process is gonna happen and it's this is gonna this might happen to you like oh no map loaded but after a second it'll it'll come back and then you can like come here and you can come and make do your project but it's not over I mean so there's something else you have to remember so after you come here if you come to this this like it's gonna say wrong map loaded that is because you're loaded in this map and this will be wrong map loaded there's nothing you have to do this is okay you can um this will just be sfm like sfm will render all the maps but if this set has it like this that's okay but if you want to edit more in this say you switch to the next map and you want to edit more in this you can come to console and then let's do the same thing we did uh, not console let's do the same thing we go here show an element viewer and then copy this it, it not but don't copy the bsp and then copy and then go to console change change level and then do that so this will do that same process and now you have this and then this will be wrong map loaded, but what you just do is you just do that, show an element viewer, you can copy it, come to console, change, level, boop, boom, oops, change, level, boop, oop. uh, yeah, don't, and then, and then all this will happen, and then you come to primary, and now you're here. And now, now you have this, you can edit whatever you want, and make sure to add the lighting before you go to the next one, or next shot with the changed map. Not because, not because it won't get saved, it'll be easier, because you don't need to, after you're done with your all your animation, you don't need to come step by step doing console and make adding the lights and that that's just going to be a whole ordeal so that's why this is how you change map and you can do the same thing show an element viewer and uh you can 
keep it here as maybe um let's see FNAF 2 no FNAF 2 and then you come here yeah so then you can just come here copy this control C console change level do that do that and then it'll be changed as you can see oh that was odd okay it's gonna be changed just wait a second oh yeah there we go okay there we go and it'll take a second and then there you go and then if you just go here you'll have it up here so if you want to come here and now make sure to save your work a lot because the element viewer is a dark dark place so after you're done with everything you're done you can what you can do is you can come to um file export movie save and then say I need to do this in. I'm gonna put this as a in my it's thumbnails folder because that's what I do. Um, it's the thumbnails. And oh yeah, that's over there. So we do one check in while I fix that. So let me just take that away. It's called thumbnails. Where is that? Um. Oh, oh, yeah, it's called thumbnails. Um, so like the delete permanently. Okay. So that's good. So I just deleted those. And now I can keep it here. This is, and then I can put it, it can be this. Save. I'm going to do it as a... Oh, yeah, uh, image sequence, and then I don't have a wave, so I don't need that. And then, sick. So when I, if you see when I'm exporting Moby, it says loading map. That is what you want. So it will render frame by frame. If you, I don't know if you can see this or not, like the render layout for the render time but that's really how you do it and it's gonna stop in a few seconds now it's gonna change map then it changed and then it's gonna change again in a few seconds um it's gonna change again and that's changing, the map's changing, and now we're up to FNAF 2. And... There we go, we're done! So if you come to folder, and then I go to my, um, here, you can see all of these were rendered in the different maps. Oh yeah, you can't see, but it, it just trust me, they're gonna be rendered in different maps. So yeah, that's how you render. In one render, that's how you do multiple maps.